Considering the 3D caps dealt the grainy, unattainable, dry, shredded look and the sheer amount of mass that the guy's put on, despite all his setbacks and problems that he's had, I'm gonna have to say that he's probably a fake natural piece of shit. With SARMs, I started taking them around this time last year. I Today, I am having a little one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys because I feel like it's been a long time and I have actually something on my mind that I want to talk about. It's a little bit personal to me, so I do want to talk about it. And the thing is that I want to talk about is SARMs. If you follow me and you follow the fitness community, then you know that a lot of people uh, have recently set out and come out to say that they have used SARMs in the past. Selective Androgen Receptor Modulators. Jesus! Big words. Something quite new in the drug world. The thing is with SARMs, it can help you build muscle, shred fat in a good way without um, the side effects, but we do really don't know um, if there are very long-term side effects. With the wrong doses, there are side effects with it. And that's why I want to talk about it because uh, two friends, of, I would call them friends of mine, um, Mo Samuels and Ryan Casey have come out recently and said they used SARMs in the past. First of all, I want to say that I do respect Ryan and Mo so much. So Ryan came up with this video first and then Mo, I think, came out like a week after, a couple days after with his video that he used or tried to use SARMs and what he thought about it and stuff like that. Same with Ryan. And after Mo's video, something clicked in my head. Since the beginning of the fitness journey on YouTube, my fitness journey on YouTube, I always felt one of the smaller guys, right? It, like, it doesn't really matter, but it does, okay? Let me explain. So, when I started my fitness journey, it was all about my transformation. I was super, super skinny, and I put on muscle mass by training my ass off and you know, keep an eye on my diet and, you know, really going forward and focusing 100% on the fitness lifestyle, right? So a couple months in, I started following, you see these big guys, like huge shredded. And obviously if I, if I know if someone is super, super big and super, super shredded and like competition wise, they're usually on steroids, even though they don't say it, but you can assume if they are competing that they are on something, right? Uh, it's just part of the bodybuilding world, it's part of the fitness world, it's just what it is, right? But with Ryan and with Mo, I felt like I could relate to them more because they weren't as big of a guy. Like, they were big, they trained hard, and you could see that they lifted really well, right? Both Ryan and both Mo Samuels. Because I do follow them and obviously um, they have they understand what they're doing. Oh damn, I always felt so small and I always felt bad about it because I felt like I had no right to talk or even have a fitness channel, right? Because because now I'm the, not the biggest guy. I'm 5'7", I weigh like 155. You know, I got, I think I have some muscle mass on me, but always felt a little bit, I didn't really have the confidence 100% to upload shirtless pictures or um, sh being shirtless on camera, on video, because I felt like I didn't deserve that yet because who am I to talk about fitness when there's so many guys bigger than me, right? This doesn't really have to do anything with Ryan or with Mo because you don't have to compare yourself to others to make your content. But it's always in the back of my mind that the reason why I haven't grown my channel as much or because I'm not as impressive, I'm not as strong, I'm like, I'm not as shredded, you know? So in the back of my mind, I was always like contemplating like, damn, what I'm doing wrong? Is it the content? Is it the way I look? Is it my physique? Is it like, I'm not even impressive because if you look at these guys, then dude, they're so big and they're so strong. Like, obviously I'm not discrediting their whole physiques because obviously they train so so hard and they have incredible physiques and incredible strength before they even used it so i'm not want to discredit them because uh I'm, they're my homies so i don't want to throw them on the bus like that but it's like in the back of my mind always thinking like this so something after that video they clicked in my head i'm like okay hold up there's stuff happening some people are on stuff some people try some some people try steroids do steroids like okay stop comparing yourself to others it doesn't make sense and I'm discrediting my own journey by the achievements of others, which doesn't make any sense if you think about it. But the thing is, I always felt that way though. So I wanted to make this video because I wanted to talk about it that if you follow fitness YouTube, watch the content for what it is 
and always have in the back of your head like maybe this guy is on something and maybe I shouldn't expect myself to make as big of a progress that he is making. But don't have in the back of your head like myself, like, oh, I don't bench 315. Hmm, maybe I'm doing something wrong. And then they get discouraged by doing those lifts or in my case, make the content that I wanna make. Again, I don't have anything against using. It's not for me. I don't care for it. I don't see the good outweigh the bad so much that I would, I would, I would say like, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm chill. I'm, I'm going to do that because the only thing that they do hate though of people is that they're, you know, they're lying about it. You know, I'm a natural athlete. Well, you got, you can see like, like really bro, are you seriously saying you're natural? But I understand how this, this thing works with sponsorships and stuff that you cannot just say it. And there would be a lot of less people sponsored by big companies if they would say they're unnatural. But lying about it, like straight up, like ah, promoting the natural lifestyle, that's kind of whack. So nothing personal against Mo or Ryan. If anything, I salute them for being honest and being real with it, you know? There's a couple of people that I would feel comfortable saying they're 100% natural, not because I know, because uh, the physique just looks natural. And that's not a bad thing because I like the natural look. It's, it's big, it's lean, it's not super shredded. It's like easy to tell when they're bulking or cutting. It's not like they make extremely big jumps and lifts. Um, people like Marine are a great example of a natural physique. Now, I don't know 100 million percent that he's natural. I do 100% believe that his physique is natural. He's not making uh, crazy jumps in the weight lifted, like on bench, deadlift, whatever. It's a natural progress. He, he doesn't jump in body weight as much. Like he has very good bulks and cuts it's very clear you can tell when he's cutting and you can tell when he's bulking it's a lot of time in between it's not like he's going crazy lean every time and then bulking up insanely and making insane muscle mass gains uh marine i would say is a very good standard to hold and it's someone that i look at and be like sick physique dude that's fucking insane he works really hard and i think it's very achievable naturally for everybody who goes in the gym and puts in the work because again i'm not saying that if you're natural that um these natural guys don't put in the work because obviously they work really really hard everybody in the fitness industry works really really hard some just take it up a notch and take something to en enhance that performance and some guys stay natural it was a lack of confidence on my part and it's that's not, I'm not saying, I'm not blaming that on anyone, it's, that's on me, but I'm just like, talking about it, like, when you watch fitness content, always have in the back of your head, okay, maybe if it, something is, someone is crazy strong, crazy shredded, crazy big, have it in your back of your head, it could be that someone's on something, so don't hold yourself back for the fact that someone else could be, I wouldn't say cheating, but it's taking an extra stuff. Um, yeah, talk one-on-one -on -one video with you guys. Appreciate that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess I just wanted to say that this shit just clicked for me. The lack of confidence in myself because I didn't feel as big as the other guys. Whoops. Talk to you guys later. Deuce.